Hello everyone, well I'm just going to do a little news story for tonight about the desktop usage share of Linux, how it's been gradually increasing or decreasing or staying stagnant depending on which uh, statistics you view. But I thought I'd go for that because uh, a lot of the news at the moment is about KDE Slimbook. Great, nice piece of hardware, don't have it though so can't comment, I have to uh, look for something else. Anyway, I'll do a bit of discussion about what I've been up to as well. So uh, I was messing things up on my home network by re-imaging the wrong Raspberry Pi. I can't believe I did this, but oh, this is a trouble. When you've got uh, what is effectively a server sat in the cupboard for so long and you've just got a very plain generic box here without uh, what the server is written on it... Um, yeah, effectively I shut down the wrong server and re-imaged the micro SD card, thus wiping out the contents of the server that I didn't want to. Oh dear, that took a little while to uh, recover from because backups are, well, pretty much non-existent. Yes, I had the code, a little bit out of date. I had the scripts to build the servers, but not an easy way of re-imaging them. Anyway, I've got there in the end. And uh, I've been doing a bit of work on NodeTrack as well, the DNS server that can do a lot of blocking. Uh, getting rid of the final bash script, converting that to Python. I know that's a fairly nondescript uh, picture you're seeing there, but yeah, it's the uh, DNS mask logs written into or being passed into MariaDB for doing something else with. Yeah, it would be a, a web server, the uh, PHP page looks a lot fancier. You don't view things like that. It's just a purely a demo of how it uh, looks. Anyway, so there's been a few articles about how Linux is becoming the Windows alternative Microsoft never wanted. Oh, come on, keep bigging it up. Softpedia, yeah, yeah. It, it's at like 3%, whereas I think the biggest threat to uh, Windows is still Android. Yeah. Android and mobile phones, uh, something that Microsoft uh, lost out on, didn't they, with, uh, what can we say, poor management of Nokia? Mm. So while many believe that Windows was, is, and will continue to be the preferred choice of desktop, the most recent market share statistics show that Microsoft's operating system is slowly but surely losing ground in the PC world. <laughs> While Apple's Mac OS is still considered a solid but expensive, from a hardware perspective, alternative to Windows 2020 is gradually turning out to be the year of Linux. Come on, well, why am I reading this? <laughs> it clearly is. Like, come on, a bit of reality check here. Like, what's the reason for using Linux? Uh, there is no reason. Like, you choose your own choice of operating system. I'm not here to sell you an operating system. I'm not here to say you should use Linux. And yes, I enjoy using it on all my devices, with the exception of my work computer. I wish I could use Linux on there, but um, I probably should do, really. I should make a case for it. I don't need Windows. But yeah, <laughs> what's the reason for using it? Uh, managing to stay in control of your own data, for one thing, I would say. Hardware compatibility, well, that's an argument either way, Microsoft or Linux. Speed, again, Windows 10 has picked up. I would still say Linux has got the edge, though. But a more pleasurable experience of an operating system, well, I would still say Linux is that, because my Windows 10 laptop was beeping at me constantly today and coming up with nondescript error messages, which I really do not like at all. I prefer a silent trustworthy computer, and for it to be more like a faithful butler. One that sits there in the background, does its job, and doesn't get in the way of things. Anyway, that's me selling but not selling Linux. So, what have we got? I, I'm not sure we really want, really want to read much of this. Are they talking about the end of Windows 7? So Windows 7, end of support happened January this year, and there still seems to be an alarming number of people still using Windows 7, including my parents on a couple of computers. I've been trying to persuade them to move. Uh, the risk is because there's now security vulnerabilities uh, and known security vulnerabilities now with Windows 7. It, uh, well, it, the risk of using it exponentially increases as time goes on. So at this point now, it was sort of six, was it five, six months ahead? Yeah, it's 
I, I seriously wouldn't use it now on the internet. At this point now, if you're using Windows 7, you need to be firewalling it off or paying Microsoft for the extended support. And if you're not going to do that, yeah, as I said, firewall it off, stop it going on the internet, really limit its access. Or take the risk that it's your choice, your computer, do what you want with it. But I'm just saying there are risks to putting old unsupported systems on the internet. And that goes with old unsupported versions of the Linux if you're still using those as well. But until 1910 when end of life as well. Be alright using it for a bit longer. But again, risk increases exponentially the longer you use it. So I'm going to take a look at the uh, market share. I'm not going to talk too much about this news article, really. So the market share that many of these articles are talking about is net market share. What can we say about them? So they provide web usage statistics on real users, not bots. So we are the first service to detect and eliminate bots of fraudulent traffic from the data. A real life world data, and this is kind of what you want. You want a nice mixed real world of data. You don't want to go on something like uh, W3Schools, which is could be aimed more at developers, which <laughs> actually shows a drop in Linux, but uh, it's higher than net market share. You want an all-around experience from a variety of users. And what do we have in December? No, let's go from this year, January this year. So we have Linux share at 1.47% and uh, well, Chrome OS 0.49. I think Chrome OS is actually ahead of the rest of Linux, or at least on par with it. Now, Windows share, that's the important one, so 88.14. And we go up to June, which is the uh, last publicized one. So what do we have? 86.69s for Windows, that's dropped, and 3.61 for Linux. 0.41 for Chrome OS, so Chrome OS stagnated or dropped slightly. What was macOS? I didn't read that out. 9.2 versus uh, 9.7. So the only one that's increased here is uh, Linux, albeit not a lot. Good to read. <laughs> Could have read it from another article as well back in May, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we've also got Stats Counter as well, a website I block, so I obviously wouldn't have any of my own stats on here. And what do we have? What do we have? So for this year, January, um, Linux, let's get Linux, 1.9 January to, um, God, these are really difficult to find, 1.69, so <laughs> drop slightly, and Windows has gone up. See, you can't just take one desktop usage statistic. Uh, another of these statistics, W3 counter, but <laughs> Linux is so low here because of all the mobile operating systems. What can we say? It's not even in the top 10. Android 5. Come on. Android 5 has been end of life for ages. Oh, that's, that's Android 6, 7, 8, 9 end of life as well. Uh, yeah, that's uh, unsupported phones for you. And Statista. This doesn't have very recent statistics anyway, but uh, what we've got. Linux 1.8 and Windows 7 is 72. To, so uh, Linux. Linux has actually been gradually increasing from, that goes back to 2012. One of these articles I scrolled past but didn't really talk about, wasn't there? Uh, the Windows usage. Ah, oh, yes, here we are on stat counter. So Windows 7 has gradually been dropping, but Windows 10 has been gradually increasing as well. So people have been moving across from Windows 7. Some have gone other ways. Not everyone has gone to Windows 10. Presumably some people have gone to Linux, or other operating systems, or just using phones. Hopefully I've not been too dismissive about this. I mean, it's very nice to see Linux usage share increasing, but it, you've always got to keep a perspective that you've got to take different sources of the information. You can't just look at one and go, woohoo, it's increasing, and ignore another one which does show it either stay, staying stagnant or decreasing. I don't think there's a very easy correct answer to show the statistics for Linux or in fact any operating system because if you focus on one place you're going to get the audience from that thing versus another one so anyway that's a little bit of news about the Linux desktop usage share thanks for watching and I'll see you all later